why we love Heracles so much. Ever since I was introduced to Record of Ragnarok, it quickly became one of my favorite animes. And that was even from season one. I think people in this day and age are too picky. And the reason why I love Record of Ragnarok is not because of the animation. It's because of the way their characters are written and how the fights are not just physical, but also spiritual. Each side represents something. But out of all of these fights, there was one theme that we never explored, and that was good versus evil. That's when we got introduced to Heracles, the man who became one of the people in the sky. In this video, we are going to explore what makes him so likable as well as what makes him so great. Make sure you stay till the end for our bonus facts. The first thing that I noticed about Heracles was the incredible charisma he possesses. In episode 1, we can feel this crazy strength and confidence that emanates from him. This conveys power and authority. But straight away, we get to see a more goofy side of him when Gore charges at him and they end up greeting each other with an arm lock. That was so wholesome because for a second I thought they were going to attack each other. We all have that one person that's like a big brother to us, someone we look up to, someone that is strong and super chill at the same time and that always got our back. That's the vibe I got from Heracles. When we look closely at history, we discover that it is almost unbearable for mankind to not see their way of life, their actions as somewhat righteous and noble. Even criminals and tyrants go as far as convincing themselves that the wrong that they do is necessary. Some even go further. Al Capone, one of Chicago's most notorious gangsters, considered himself as some type of Robin Hood figure, stealing from the rich and giving back to the poor. Is he at the core every human being loves good and righteousness and desires to be just that. But it's not always easy to stand firmly on righteousness, especially when evil and darkness are always lurking around and somewhat trying to corrupt us every day. Sometimes we win the battle, sometimes we lose. However, there are a few people that stand firm and unshakable in the face of evil, no matter how overwhelming the darkness in front of them is. They stand as a light for the rest of us. They give us hope. They remind us of the beauty and nobility we all have within us. A long time ago, Heracles was just a human. His name was Alcides, and all he wanted in life was to be amongst the righteous. He was small and weak, yet he stood with all his might against evil of any kind. Even though he had no power to actually overcome it, he would never yield nor surrender. People ridiculed him, yet he remained firm and unshakable in his resolve, and eventually he became the hero of the people of Phoebe. This didn't change when he became one of the people in the sky. He rose to the status of envoy of justice. Everybody loves a hero, and Heracles is the embodiment of the hero archetype. Through and through. A true hero has compassion, even for the very evil he fights against. Heracles is not the guy we are supposed to cheer for in the context of this Ragnarok tournament. But after seeing him declare that he would save Jack the Ripper, who is the literal embodiment of evil, the ugliest side of humanity. How can you not love such a chant? And those weren't just words. When Jack had a look at Heracles' heart, he was in awe at the beauty he saw. It was the first time he saw the color of true love. He never even saw that color from his own mother. Heracles reminds me a lot of Rengoku in terms of purity of heart, but I don't think even Rengoku had this much love in him. This was the closest thing to unconditional love 
I've ever witnessed. Even Jack was moved. Heracles is truly indomitable, even in his love. There was nothing that Jack could have done that would have changed his heart. Even at the very end, he loved humans. And it's that very love that led him to his demise. We love Heracles so much because he represents the most beautiful part of humanity, something we can all aspire to be like. At this point, if you're still here, you're the real MVP. Put a big MVP in the comment section to let me know you rock with me. And now it's time for the bonus facts. Did you know that Heracles' final transformation was actually inspired by the manga Bio Booster Armor? Side God damn it. Couilleur? I don't know how to spell it, but let me just probably butcher the spelling. But yeah, I've never heard uh, of that manga before. But I will definitely check it out. Anyways, guys, that was it. Thanks for tuning in. And until next time, have a good one.